Well, an antique portrait was sold at an estate sale, but it turned out to be a priceless family heirloom. So a local father and daughter went on a mission of love to find the relic and bring it back to their family. Check out this story from Holly. A moment in time captured in this portrait of William Harvey Meredith from the late 1800s. It's history, you know, it's part of family history. Meredith is Steve Prater's great-great-grandfather and Steve's daughter Alyssa's great-great-great-grandfather. It's a family heirloom. It's a cherishable thing. It's said the picture is worth a thousand words. This one tells of a time that used to be. Something that had been handed down in the family for a while and uh, it meant something to my mom. But what does the photo say when it goes missing? It's a reality for the Praters after Steve's parents passed last year. The portrait ended up uh, being sold at an estate sale at my uh, my mom and dad's house there. And after we saw that one of the photos from the wall was missing, we were like kind of devastated, honestly. Prompting this father-daughter duo to go on a mission of love to find that personal relic. It started with a haphazard post to a Facebook neighborhood group that reached plenty of feeds. I've never posted something that blew up that much, but I got tons of comments, over 100 shares. The next day we came back up, just started looking, looking around. Through suggestions on Facebook to perhaps pure intuition, the two started in downtown Holly at Holly Antiques. We looked all around the antique shop, didn't see anything. But deep inside amongst the hundreds of collectibles, furniture, records, toys, and more was the portrait. I went and talked to Dave at the counter there and uh, he said, well, let me go talk to Stephanie. Probably about five minutes went by and she comes walking out with it. She goes, is this it? And I said, oh yeah. So it was kind of neat. Stephanie was the one who bought the portrait at the estate sale. Amazed. We didn't really think we were going to find it, if I'm going to be honest. I, I think Stephanie was an amazing, amazing person. I mean, real nice lady. Uh, she didn't want anything but to get the picture back to me and I gave her I asked her how much she wanted for it, and she said just what I paid for it. It was just 10 bucks. Robin Yelverton is the owner of the joint antique mall and floral shop. And so the fact that this print came in and then a family member saw it uh, was pretty, pretty awesome because I don't know that we've ever had that happen before. Uh, and I'm glad that they were able to reclaim their, their personal property. I genuinely feel like it's something that should be kept within the family. It's an heirloom. It has the back with our uh, history. The Praters holding tangible family history. His real name was Melvin. On the back, a list of the family tree up until Steve's grandparents. I'm just telling her everybody had nicknames. Why was this piece of history so significant to hold on to? You hear stories about, you know, how he used to work on the railroad and, and you know, he died a long time ago. And, mm -hmm. and it's, you know, it's just family stories. and. Um, history, you know, it's it's really cool to actually be be able to look back at something that was historic for your family. So, you know, we have lots of people who are involved in the community, and to see them step up was not a surprise. You know, they are all about that, so it, it was very nice. As for what's next, Steve says that he's going to preserve this portrait and then eventually pass it down to Alyssa. We're going to be keeping it in the family. It was it was good to have it, and it didn't get lost, so. I'm happy.